But other than the shared 160 inch length, the ST has gone rogue from its origins. Start with the wheels, which are 17 inch alloys, mated to a summer weight 20540W 17 inch tire that underscores its performance oriented intentions. Remember, the base model sits on 15 inch wheels and 16 inches are available with an upgrade package. On paper, it's a five passenger vehicle, but in reality, a driver and passenger who are comfortable in the Recaro seats in front will not make a lot of friends among those who have to squeeze into the second row. There is a shared 1.6 liter four cylinder aluminum engine, but the ST version gets a gas turbo direct injection setup along with other modifications that put out 197 horsepower and 202 foot pounds of torque. It can operate on 87 octane unleaded fuel, but to get the best out of the drivetrain, go ahead and pay for the premium. On the open road, that translates into plenty of reserve power for those moments of enthusiastic driving. And if you're looking for paddle shifters, wrong car. This only comes with a six-speed manual gearbox that we found to be very crisp with a short throw for quick up and down shifts. With electric assisted power steering and a tight suspension, the Fiesta ST can deliver on the promise of something that can be thrashed around on a race course or a winding mountain road. Will it ever be the first choice of buyers in the segment? Probably not, unless millennials and Gen Y drivers figure out that driving something like this can be more fun than a double espresso with whipped cream. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.